In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create a logo carousal which will look something like this. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. Now along with this video, we have also created a blog post so that you can just follow along with all the steps and also download the template that we are going to use to create this logo carousal. So make sure you check out the link in the video description below. And once you click on that link, it will take you to this page here. And on this blog post page, you will find an option to download the carousal layout. Now here you will find an option to enter your email address. I have already entered that. So that's why I see this download file button. And once you click on this, it's going to download the zip file for our carousal template. So make sure you go ahead and check out your download folder and extract all the files from this zip file. And once that is done, just head back to your WordPress backend and go to Divi and then click on layouts. And here we need to import the layout that we have just downloaded. So we click on import and then click on import again from here and then go ahead and add our file. So I'm just going to choose my file from here and then click on import to Divi Builder layout. And once the import is done, it's going to load the page again. And here we have the template for Divi 5 logo carousal. So let's click on edit and edit with Divi Builder. So right now we are just editing our carousal template. So here is the carousal. We have two options here. So now let's go ahead and add this on our page. So let's go ahead and add a new page. Let's give it a name. Let's publish this. And we're going to edit this with Divi Visual Builder. And we are going to choose a pre-made layout. And we are going to choose the saved layout. And here we can see our Divi 5 logo carousal is added in our library. Let's click on this. And we are going to click on use this layout to import this template on our page. So here is our carousal. As you can see, we have an auto scroll on. So here is our carousal. We can use these buttons to navigate through it. And if we save this page and take a look at the front end once. So this is how our carousal will look in the front end. And you can simply go ahead and use the same and simply replace the images here and your carousal will start working. But let me show you everything from scratch, how we build it. If we open the layers view, here is our first section where we have our logo slider. And under this, we have our single row and we have our single column here. And under that, we have added a group carousal module. And under this group carousal module, we have our group module. And in each group module, we have a logo image, which is actually helping us to create this slider. And you can also see the slides here on the right hand side. For each slide, we can edit that. And we can go ahead and design, we can add some spacing. So right now we have added a five pixel left and right spacing so that we can have a little bit of gap between two images. So all we need is our logo images and we can use the group carousal module to add all these slides here. And of course, if we go on to our group carousal, here we can play around with carousal settings. We have set it to auto rotate and we have set the speed here. And you can play around with all these settings or if you want to learn more, you can watch our full video that we will add in the i button above or in the video description below. So go ahead and try this logo carousal template on your TV website and do let us know what you think about it. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.